Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Never Winter Nights. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today here in, uh, actually I don't know the name of this place, but we were having some fights last episode, and um, I was having a little bit of trouble killing the first hero, the first guy, and I killed him first, and then things didn't go exactly according to plan. I'm not really sure what happened, but uh, I killed him off camera, everything was fine, and it was actually that attempt that uh, we ended the last episode on. So yeah, we're still in the Black Lake District, this is just... Uh, oh, the gauntlet. They call this the gauntlet. And uh, we're gonna get ourselves a little bit of a name, I would think. Maybe. Actually, let me check my inventory over here. I got a lot of crap. That is a lot of stuff in me that uh, maybe shouldn't be in me at, as, at this moment in time. Well, some of it. Like the portrait of Sir Reginald Rumbottom, the third. Okay. Um, well, it's, it's what it is. It's it's the weirdness of Neverwinter Nights. I greet you. Yeah, and you as well. I'm ready to try my next metal round. Prepare. Fashi has read it himself and awaits you. Awaits us both. I hear, oh, Fashi has a wolf. Just like the last guy. Yeah. Or maybe, was I confused? Was I confused? The wolf is not coming. Okay. The wolf will come. And I'm going to try and... and it, there we go. We got a success. Okay, so we need to attack the nearest enemy, please. Uh, and I'm taking damage from this guy, which is good. No, he's oh, switched. In the name of Sandy he switched. Moonball. Weapon ineffective! Ooh, that's nasty. Attack of opportunity right there. It's not an advantage. Okay, well, this is a weapon ineffective as well, so I might... It, it, if I'm gonna have a wep an ineffective weapon, I might as well go for, for the one that... Um, that doesn't use any, any of my resources. These guys are too tough. How, we, how is it ineffective? Well, she's... She, her isn't, so I'm good with that. And he doesn't really do that much damage. And he's killing his wolf, so... Yeah, whatever. I could heal up the wolf. Mm. Yeah, that's a guilt. Okay, so I'm gonna let her fall a little bit. How much health does she has? Still 36. Not too great. She hasn't leveled up at all yet, so it's just there we go. Now a little bit more damage. I'm looking forward to the zoo, though. We haven't been there yet. The last few episodes. That was a nice critical hit right there. The last few ep last a few episodes, we have been uh, mostly looking around, stealing houses because this is, after all, the rich part of town, and she's handling handling herself quite well. Oh, not, not anymore. Hey, man, I'm here. Yes, attack me instead. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, all these wounds, they uh, can all be regained by just pressing R. A weapon in effect. Yeah, yeah, just keep at it. It's still... Yeah, it's my plus one. I wonder why. Is it because of the type of damage? Well, it's dead, so it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, and we are victorious for 100 experience. Looking forward to my next level up. Let's see when it's coming. It is coming in well, actually very close, so I think today we're definitely gonna get our next level up. Um, there we go. Let's rest. Whoa, your second badge! I bet you're going to go all the way, says this guy over here. Pleased to see you. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's, he's pleased to see me. That's great. Let's see if I can handle the next battle. I greet you. Uh, let's go. Agar awaits in the pit. Well, let me equip my longbow over here. And that's a dispel that she casts. Ooh! We have a crag cat. These guys yeah. are a little bit tricky to uh, enchant, to empathize, or whatever it is. Yeah. But I think I can do it. Oh. Success! Okay, so you attack the nearest enemy, and you attack the nearest Goddess enemy as well. Take you now. And I'm doing damage for once. <gasps> of course, this guy does a lot of damage, but I can control that. Hopefully. Of course, ha him having this crag cat against him is, yeah. is good. Okay. Nice. That berry right there. That berry. Yeah, this is a critical hit. In the name of Sandy Moonball. Good stuff. What about you, mister? Can I uh, kill you? Can I can attack you. I can just go ahead and attack. Uh, can I? What could, you could come with me. Does he? Does he come with me? I kind of want to kill him because this is a tricky enemy. So I'm going to do this. How do I attack enemies? I am... Uh, it's uh, more actions. Oh, release from domination. Oh, we have that. I didn't know that. It's pretty good. Okay, so he goes down. <laughs> Very fast. Can we sleep in here? Or rest? I, I always say sleep. Not a, right now. That's after... Oh, I can. Okay. Well, that's kind of weird. Never mind me. I'm just sitting down here in your arena. Uh, excuse me. Gauntlet. Sure, whatever. Uh, okay. You did it. You got your third badge. Claudius is going to... He's going down. Claudius. Yeah, Claudius. Isn't Claudius this guy? That's it for you. 
You got past Agar, but it stops here. No it... one beats Claudus. Just ask. No one beats me. This place is my. Yeah, I, I really don't have time for your shenanigans. I didn't go around here and ask and talk to people, did I? There's Fashi, there's Agar. So I didn't kill them. They just. It's not a blood. Well, they say this is not a blood sport. I saw plenty of blood. Uh, but they, they, I don't think. Uh, and also, the yeah, the, the companions, they die. <laughs> I greet you. Anyway, welcome. Yes, I know welcome. She doesn't actually say anything different. Um, okay, let's go. I'm trying to the next medal. So we are going to fight Claud Claudus. I wish you the best of luck. He has all the odds on his side. Really? Uh, you will keep the battle fair, won't you? I have the power to do so, but I am, uh, well, restricted. A little in this instant instance. Uh, Claudus pays for all of this. You understand? You uh, understand? Oh. I sh it should be fair, you know that. Ah, uh, we... Mm, you, you do not understand the place I am in. I wish I could help, but I can't. You just have to try. Okay, I can pay you. 400 gold if you get... If, uh, we'll, we'll get you away, I think. Perhaps. But this doesn't mean uh, make me any more honest. But the money could help me. Very well. Prepare to face him. Did I change my uh, alignment with that? Uh, I will make sure... A dis I will make sure a dispel magic is cast on you both. Do not waste this chance. Oh, I want, I think. Uh, so he has two Panthers. Take you. So more away. enemies to fight him. Fantastic, and they're not coming immediately, which is really weird. But I can, I can now empathize. Success right there. It's gonna take a little while, but it's gonna work. Please. Oh, attack the nearest man. Success. So attack the nearest. Yeah, I need, I need to update the orders. Okay, we're good. She's taking a little damage. He's already badly wounded. I think we could have done this battle anyway. The tree oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Seriously? You broke out of your thing? Okay, so now that I did that and she's healed up, I got a success here. Attack the nearest. I can't do anything there. I'm gonna need to heal her. Oh, boy. Let's go. Nope, she's gone. She is definitely gone. Okay. But the fa Yeah, she's gone. It's fine, it's fine. It's just 50 gold. As long as I have these guys around. Okay, that's a kill. And animal empathy, that guy's down. Okay. Uh, let's switch weapons over here. So I can attack you properly. Nah, I'm, I should be able to kill this thing. Okay, we killed the, the leader. Well, not the leader, but the champion of the gauntlet. We also ha got Lino dead. And there's the, her blood over there. Um, and that wasn't as good. But it's, to it's totally fine. I don't mind that. I, I probably should have been a little more careful with uh, with her heals. I'm thinking late game, I'm either going to get be able to uh, just... Stop caring about the money that these things cost because I can buy them whenever I want. It's just I care about the money. I care about the money, and that's why I don't heal as much. And uh, if I did, that's. Damn you! Damn you all! Shut up! Fine! You won! So what? Proves nothing! No. Nope. I was champion for months! Yes. Everyone knows that! Everyone knows! Yes. Take that place! Go on! You are the owner now, but I've told my friends to leave. The gauntlet! goes with me uh, well it seems that I have um, done something that maybe aligns a little bit with what my original alignment was he doesn't say over here that I changed my align alignment but this gauntlet was a little bit outside of the law so she's I not gonna be happy you. so Claudus finally falls good I was sick of listening to him didn't pay me good enough to cover his lies forever yeah, well, you, you're not gonna be able to keep getting money though. Anyway, let's uh, get out of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something something that is long overdue. Let's put it over there, and now I can do that. There we go, much better. So not you, Tommy. I can still. F yes, I I know you feel a lot of stuff. You you it's just how, how it goes. And let me go over here. One of the bards here in Cast. Oh I yes. Believe I heard Lord Nasher himself. Uh, let me just sell you my crap. That's usually how it goes. Can I just sell you like that? Yes, I can. Okay, what do we have here? Wand of Lesser Summoning. I'm keeping that. Um, special Holy Water. Got that. I got all this stuff. We got the Gauntlet Championship Award. Is that expensive? That is not expensive. Um, okay, so that's good. Sell that over there. Kent, that's a... Uh, yep, yeah, okay. A Dementite I'm going to keep. Yeah, we don't really have that much stuff with us. We do have a Spear Bliss 1, which is kind of okay. Uh, head of Loxar over there. Didn't we deal with that already? No, we haven't. We should do that. Let's do that. Oh, I can't do that. Well, I can. Let's let's do that. 
I, the problem is I can't come back. That's that's the thing. Uh, I, I, I was I, what I was thinking is then I can cast the town portal again and uh, then go back to the previous town portal place. But yeah, it's not really it's not really uh, what I can do because if I do that, I will erase you know, the Black Lake location. At least I assume it works like that. Uh, hey there. Uh, so. Wasn't, weren't you the guy? Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, he's talking about Logsar. Yeah, that big half orc. I've got his head right here. Oh, you do? I knew someone would make him pay. I knew there had to be some justice left somewhere. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I wish I had something to give you, but I have nothing except my gratitude. I, I thank you. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, that was my my alignment there. Changed a little bit. Uh, to three points towards good, and I've gained experience, and I have lost also the head, which was really my objective, was to lose that head. Because it's uh, taking up inventory, and uh, yeah. So, for this game, I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to just get rid of a few of these things that I have no place, have no point uh, sticking around. In, uh, in Baldur's Gate 2, I can just put them in my uh, bag of holding, but in this game, that's not really a, a possibility, because I don't have a bag of holding as good for that. Well, actually, I could put them in my bag of holding, the quest items and stuff. Stuff that I think might be good. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea, isn't it? Might be good for quests. Anyway, back here we are. I know, Lino, you died in this place, but it's it's just, you know, it's just bad memories. It's all fine. It's, it's just, you just need to believe me. Okay, let's continue. So we got a few quests. Uh, did we get quests from here? From up here? Or am I confusing that with something else? Because we're gonna go back out, and uh, we are gonna... Let's see, did I talk to everybody over here? Wasn't there, like, a special guy over here? Like this one over here. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm working on it. He's looking hey for... Hey there, dear. Hey, what no. can I do... Nope, you can't do anything. Misclicks. Let's go. Let's get out of here and let's see if I get, get my, if I can get myself into the zoo. Didn't I find a zoo already? But I just didn't want to get into it. Oh, what the meltdown in the state? A Neverwinter Zoo up there. Why didn't I get into there? What is wrong with me? Hmm. I imagine I need to find a back entrance. That's what it was. It was a back entrance requirement or something, because the zoo was closed, and it makes sense. Because, you know, considering that it's supposed to... I don't know what they're going to do with the animals. Hey, little doggy. What's up? Uh, the dog... Oh, I remember this guy. The dog responds gladly to your approach, excitedly wagging its tail and accepting your touch. Its friendly eyes look into yours expectantly. Okay, I got inside. Your perception reveals something troubling to the dog. Oh, something is troubling the dog. The dog is aware that some... Some time recently, another creature was in the district. Not a threatening creature, however, more one strongly tied to natural forces. So I think a nymph, maybe? The faint image you get leads you to believe what the dog sensed was actually a dryad. Okay, so kind of the same thing. The dryad was in distress, but the dog does not know what happened to her. Ask about uh, the strange and unusual monsters in the area. Uh, on the district, the dog responds to the empathic, empha and empathic communication with images from its mind. It does not feel overly threatened in this area of the city, though it is hungry. As far as the other creatures in the area, the dog avo only avoids two locations where it feels threatening monsters is exist. Primal urges fill your consciousness conjuring up images of an odd assortment of monsters. None stand out clearly enough for you to describe. The dog picture all, pictures all of these creatures behind bars. That's the zoo that he's talking about. But what about the second location? This query conjures up dark images in the dog's mind. There is a large house behind a great wall in the northwest part of this district. The dog avoids this area completely. It might be the tomb that we're looking for. In the dog's mind, this house is associated with terrible, terrible magic and evil smells. Its brethren, who have ventured near uh, there, do not return. Okay, I'm gonna give him a snack. I'm not really sure what kind of snack I have, but you fish into your pack for a few strips of dried meat. The dog gulps them down happily and wags its tail in thanks. Yeah, man, just, uh, yeah. Uh, because dogs like this, they probably just survive on, on charity. That's what they do. Oh, cats will steal, but dogs might if they are trained like this, but this dog doesn't seem like that's the case. Um, let's see, any useful information? The dog has some difficulty understanding what you might find useful, though it happily informs you of the best places in the district to beg for food. Yeah, just what I was saying. It does, however, tell you that some recent news, uh, tell you some recent news. Apparently, it tried to warn an old human man not to enter a bad place nearby with a capital B and a capital P. Uh, the man, the human did not listen and did not return. Okay. Uh, to your command, the dog will happily bounds off to return to its normal routine. Okay, little doggy. 
Uh, we'll call you Jack. Because why not? Just a generic name. So Jack it is. That's Jack. And I do apologize for the uh, slugginess of the graphics. I don't know why. It's It's got to be... There's, there's some setting, some graphical setting that I have that doesn't run well on uh, modern systems or on my system anyway. It could also be a a my AMD card, but then again, it's, it's, this was made back when uh, we had the GeForce 4s and GeForce, G GeForce 5s. And I think this can run on GeForce 3, also known as an MX, I think? Is it the MX something? I'm not 100% on that. Uh, that was be before my time. Well, actually, it wasn't before... Well, it was before my, my first computer. Yeah, my first computer had a uh, GeForce 4. Uh, a 4,006... Or 4,600, I think that's how you would say. You would call it a TI. Titanium or something or whatever. We have Black Lake Districts over here. And it was pretty good, actually. It, it, it handled him, uh, itself pretty decently. And then it died. And uh, I got myself an FX... 5600 or something, but it's just numbers for you. For those of you that don't know those those graphic cards, they're just very, very, like, archaic in comparison to modern-day graphics cards. The first ones, the first graphic card that I saw was a Riva TNT or Riva. I think it's Riva that's pronounced. R Riva TNT. Oh, I can't go up there. Oh, that's okay. Uh, and we have another nobleman around here. Let's go this way. Um, I had a, a Riva TNT... Two, 32 megabytes of RAM, just as a comparison, modern day graphic cards have at least 2,000 megabytes of RAM. Uh, well, actually 2,048, but yeah, I say at least because we, the, the most one has, I think it's 16,000, so 16 gigabytes, but yeah. All right, dear. Oh, thank I'm you. getting to it. Yeah, to it then. Um, but yeah, this, this is a very old game. Yeah. Very old game. So I'm thinking that probably, probably doesn't have... Oh, what happened there? What what success did she get? Was I'm it a backstab or something? Here. Okay, good. Let's see what we have here. And nobody bats an eye. Yep, nobody cares. Okay, so over here we have this place. We have, uh, okay, we have been over there. Let's go over there. We have another dog over here. Look at that. Hello, doggy. Zoom back. Hey, what you want, man? Oh, he doesn't. Anim animal empathy. Well, now he's following me. He's not gonna follow me for very long. Let's go into the temple. I believe this is where the um, Hell Mites are. Those good souls. Mm hmm? Well, there's, no, there's nothing that point. I mean, some people say bad things about everybody. But, it, oh, it might not be. It's a nobleman. Hello, sir. Hello. Oh, villain, why are you here? This is my private property. Oh, I'm, I'm with the city guard. I don't mean any harm. Oh, I suppose you don't look like such a bad sort. You just uh, startled me by b barging in here uninvited at all. Uh, what was it you wanted then, sir? Uh, well, I'm, I'm investigating the plague. Perhaps you can help me? I have paid close attention to, um, to what has been said of the plague, but there is a little real information. I don't know if I can help you. Are you aware of any strange creatures in the area? Ah, certainly not. The Black Lake ma maintains strict control on all animals. There is even a zoo. There is hardly anything there I would call strange. Well, is it possible that some creatures might have somehow access to the zoo? I couldn't say. Lord Montgomery Shoreshot is the proprietor. You would have to speak with him if you wish a definitive answer. The zoo is, is in the um, northeast part of the district, if you um, haven't already been. Is there something else? Yeah, uh... Let's see, uh, let's ask something else. Do you know anything interesting going on in the Black Lake? Well, I'm certain that I am above anything you would consider interesting. Well, any peculiar that, anything peculiar that you might think of? Oh, Lord Meldanen has been stirring up trouble, but I do not wish to speak of it. Oh, come on, just, uh, tell me, it won't do any harm telling me. I don't spread rumors. Besides, Meldanen is not known for his patience or gentle business ac acumen. I, I do not wish to be on his bedside. His mansion is to the northwest part of the district. If you wish to visit him yourself, I would advise against it, however. Is there... Okay, so... Can I ask you a few directions? Not really. Okay. Yes, leave me be. Yes, I will, but I will not leave your, um... Your, uh, your personal belongs... Belongings? Personal... Things? Whatever. Personal property. Be. Okay, we have a locked thing over here. All right, dear. I'm yeah. getting to it. Come on. Okay, so this is just his pantry. We're gonna just need to break yeah. this thing, and out of here we are. We have another door over there. She's not coming. She's a terrible, terrible follower. I still have the guard dog, though. Why is she not coming? She's stuck behind a door. Seriously? I'm trying to do things over here, and you're stuck behind a door. Follow. 
Oh boy, what the hell? All right, dear. there we go. I'm getting to it. Does the dog help? I don't think he does. And the good thing about the dog is that he doesn't actually break. Well, it wouldn't need to break out I'm of my uh, done here. domination. Yeah, here she says, he wouldn't need to break out of my domination because he's he's not actually against me. He's not, you know, he doesn't mind me. At least I don't think so. Let's see what we have here. We have another locked. Of course, we have another locked thing. But All she's right, here. Dear. I'm getting to it. All yeah. right, yeah. Okay, misclicked. Let's break that thing. Help her out. Yeah, power attack mode activated. Oh, okay, so that's what I saw before. So now she has power attacks. Good stuff. Good stuff. I don't know if you have a, a lo lowered uh, attack rating or something because of, uh, like, the, the to hit chance or something because of the power attack mode or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So our next objective is to find... What is that over there? Board laid bare. That's where we came from at the beginning of the episode. So we have the Meldon in a state up there. We have the exit. And uh, we have the grain house. Huh. So, we went in there, didn't we? No. We need a key. Do we have a key? Maybe. Uh, I no. don't think I can do that. Yeah, we're Sorry. probably gonna need probably gonna need to find a key if you're out a, a way to get in there or something. I would think, anyway. Uh, so let's try to, to get into the zoo. Somehow I think I could have gotten up there, but I didn't because of reasons or because I wanted to explore first. I, mean, I think it might have been because of that or something. Let's let's figure it out. We haven't been there yet, so. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Oh. Sorry. Montgomery Shore Shot Weatherson bids you welcome to his animal hold. View these beasts for only one gold. Yes, I'll pay one gold. That's the reason why I didn't get in. You may enter. Remember that you are a guest and must be up, uh, must abide by the rules of common courtesy. The guards do not listen to excuses. Do they listen to my uh, charming uh, the, the, the ways? Maybe? No? Hello, sir. What? Keep your manners while you're here. Your gold buys you a look and that's it. You should feel privileged that we work to stay open around the clock in these dangerous times. Yeah, I'm not really sure why you would do that, to be honest. Because why would they want a zoo in, in this place? Seriously. I mean, getting one goal, it's, it's nice. Let me rest. So the dog disappears? No, he stays over there. Why did he stay back here, though? Before. There is Animal empathy success. We're gonna get, uh, guard me, guard me. And we're going to save the game, and let's see what... Oh. We have a lion. And we have a man called Billiam. Or Bil or maybe a woman called Billiam. Yes? Do oh, get lost. It quick. Get lost, he says. Can't you see I'm spending a... Oh, who's that? Sally. Huh. Can't you see I'm spending a day with a family? Stare right into its eyes, boys. Show no fear. Really? Can I ask you some questions? Almost certainly not. I don't waste my time with guards or other rabble. Go protect some wench. I don't need you here. Yeah, yeah, too busy scaring the animals and your children. What did you, what did you say to me? Listen, boy, I am an imp I'm important. I don't need to take heat, uh, take that kind of abuse from the likes of you. Yeah, I would guess you are afraid of the plague. At least here you still think you have control. Well, that's quite the proclamation. Right out of the blue you thought of that, huh? Or perhaps you've been saying it just for such an occasion, saving it for just... Just an occasion of, as this. You sound worse than that fool of a druid, Niatar, talking all high and mighty, not considering commerce or tradition. What kind of do-goodery just makes me sick? Go on, leave me be, I don't need this, this preaching from you. N now go. N not, not, not in times like this. Not now, he says. Hi! I don't like it here. Animals seem sad. I, I can kind of tell. Maybe I'll help them when I'm bigger. Uh, no, I will help them before that. We have Hubbard over here. Hi Hubert. there. I wish they'd open the cages. No, you don't actually, but yeah. Uh, then we could cut the animals up for meat and stuff. Maybe even keep their heads. Oh, that's that's a different thing that I thought was going to happen. Although these guys, if I open their cages, I'm going to have a, a, a truly and veritable army of animals with me. That that might be a good strategy. This is good. I'm liking. I'm really liking my animal empathy skill. Okay. So back here, what do we have? Okay. Hey there, dear. Hello. What can? Nope. Shut up. Um, okay. Let's open the. Let's try to open these cages. Uh, I don't think I can do that. The door is Sorry. barred from the uh, inside of I the cage. I don't think I can do that. This. I. I think Sorry. this is a good zoo. 
it's a good zoo to bar from in the inside. Make sure, you know, make sure the animals can get out freely, but uh, nobody can <laughs> let them out if they want to. Of course, that's not what it means. What it means is is that uh, we need to open them. I don't think I there's can a bear, do that. A brown bear. We need to Sorry. open them somewhere else. There are probably levers. And actually, there's a lever in there, isn't there? Is that a lever up there? No, it's not. It's just a bale of hay. Anyway, we're out of time for the day, so we're going to continue our exploration of the zoo on the next episode. For now, I'm Kettle RPG, and this has been Never Winter Night. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.